Welcome. In this business finance lecture, we will be going over study problem 2-3 in page 47 from the 8th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of the problem. Let's highlight some key ingredients. Uh, we are interested in an investment that we are expecting will have an 8% return over the next year. Um, obviously, this is a quoted rate. As such, this would be the nominal interest rate. You also expect your real rate of return, the real return on this investment to be 6%. As such, because these two numbers are not equal to each other, the nominal interest rate is 8%, the real interest rate is 6%, this implies there is some inflation going on. What is the magnitude of the expected inflation over the next year? Let me recall you the uh, inflation formula. Uh, the Inflation formula or the expected inflation formula is the following 1 plus the expected inflation, or just let me just write it as inflation, is equal to the following ratio 1 plus the nominal rate, the nominal rate divided by 1 plus the real rate. So, given that, uh, we already are provided with the nominal interest rate and the real interest rate. Let's plug these in. So, 1 plus the nominal interest rate of 8% and then divided by 1 plus the real interest rate of 6%. Now, let's solve this equation together. So, therefore, uh, 1 plus the inflation rate is equal to 1 plus 0 0.08 is 1.08 and then 1 plus 0 0.06 is 1.06 uh, you divide these two numbers to each other you get 1.0189 up to four decimal place of accuracy and then finally moving the one on the left hand side to the right hand side we obtain the inflation or the inflation rate as 1.0189 minus 1 which ultimately gives us 0 0.0189 or in decimal form in percentages you can rewrite it as 1.89 percent so that would be the answer of our question the inflation rate the expected inflation rate over the next year will be 1.89 percent that's the end of our solution.